Hi, this is Angela with AngelasInkLink.com. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm going to show you how to make this really cute card that uses vellum to make this poinsettia. And I'm going to try and zoom in here for you a little bit so you can see the different texture on this vellum as well as see that it's kind of see-through, which is hard to tell uh, on camera, not in person. So I'm going to zoom out again. Oops, wrong way. Here we go. Zoom out again. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take this stamp set, Joyful Christmas, from the Stampin' Up! 2013 Christmas catalog. And I have the clear stamp set, so I have it mounted on a, on a acrylic block. So what I'm going to do is take my Versamark, and it's very well loved, as you can see. Ew, yeah, duh. But it still works. I've had this for years and years and years. I think I've only re-inked it once or twice. And I'm just going to make sure and get that nice and full of ink. I'm also going to take my embossing buddy. It's hard to see here, but I have some cardstock. And I'm just going to wipe that off real quick with the embossing buddy. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp this right on top. Okay. I don't know if you can really see. Oh, there. You can kind of see. Okay. So then I'm going to take my clear embossing powder and put it right on top. I shake it around to make sure it's all covered and then I kind of make it into a funnel okay now I'm going to heat it up using the heat tool and I use my bone folder and hold the paper down so it doesn't go flying anywhere and I also don't burn my fingers Okay, through the magic of television, that should have only taken a couple seconds. <laughs> so now I've got this embossed. Isn't it pretty already? Oh, I just love it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is turn this over. This is the stained glass technique. I'm going to, which you can hardly see here. Let me try and zoom in. You can kind of make out on the camera the outline of the stamp through here. Mm, too close. Mm, not really. Okay, so in person you can't, I mean, on camera you can't really tell, but in person you can see the outline of the poinsettia stamp. And I'm going to find the edge right here of my poinsettia, and I'm just going to start coloring with my red marker. Now what's cool about this is you can make it lots of different colors with different markers. I just use red for this example. You could do gold in the middle. And I'm just going to flip it over and show you what's happening. Okay, the color is coming through, and you're going to see the outline of the poinsettia, and it's going to be kind of uh, clear, see-through but not, frosted but not. It's Like I said, the stained glass technique. It's really, really pretty. Okay, and through the magic of television, dun-dun-dun, I already have one. <laughs> All right, so what I did was I finished coloring in this entire poinsettia, and then I cut it out with scissors. Okay, the rest of this is a piece of cake. What I'm going to do is take your card base and I'm going to put white, whisper white on top. Okay, and then I'm going to take the wording from this stamp set and get up with Versamark. Give it a once over with the embossing buddy to get any static off the paper. I'm going to stamp it. Now when it comes to images, I don't really care if they're off a little bit, but when it comes to my wording or my sentiments, I want to make sure that they're centered. So I use the stamp of a jig. So all you do, if you haven't used this before, is take this clear piece of um, whatever it is that comes with it. One side is smooth and the other side, as you can see, is like scratchy. Okay, so you're going to want to stamp the smooth side, and that way you can see exactly where your words are going to go. You line up this tool right in the corner of it, and then you can pull the um, window sheet away. And now I'm going to take my stamp, and I'm going to put it right in the corner so it's nice and snug, and I'm just going to stamp straight down and off. Okay, now I'm going to use gold embossing powder, cover the words,
I have an extra sheet of paper here because I already glued that down. Get the extra off. Put it back in the jar that it came in. So really you're hardly using any. These jars last forever. I'm sure I would have some that have lasted five years if it wasn't for my son who one day decided he was going to empty all the jars out and combine it into one big pile to make sand castles with. That was cool. Okay, I'm going to heat that up. Voila! That's done. Now I'm going to take my um, poinsettia and I'm going to put a pop-up dimensional on the back of it. This one, thank you. And I'm just going to place that down. Okay, and I'm going to take a vintage fasted button and I've uh, run Baker's white Baker's twine through it and I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to trim off the excess string. Okay, now I'm going to attach that with a glue dot. This is the easiest way, by the way, to attach glue dots if you didn't see it already. Fold back just so you can see one. Take your button or paper or whatever it is you have and put it on the glue dot. When you lift it up, the glue dot sticks to it and you don't have to worry about peeling it off with your fingers. I'm going to put that right in the center of the poinsettia. Uh-oh, I stuck my ribbon to it. There we go. Voila! Our card is done. I hope you enjoyed this video and learning how to use the stained glass technique to make this poinsettia. Thanks for watching. Come back again.